So my name is Lisa Russell. I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a filmmaker. I have a master's in public health and I use film to basically document and distribute information about pressing global health issues that don't get a lot of coverage. I am also venturing into new media. I just recently launched a new media site called mdg5.com. So looking at the various film and new media tools that, that I can use to do my global health advocacy. Okay, so how how can film be used to you know, educate people about you know, more development goals? Well, I think we are becoming more and more a visual society. And I think, um, you know, sadly, you know, information is, is moving quickly and I think we can get information processed faster when we, when we utilize video and, and sound and music and some of these more um, less heady tools than, than more emotional tools. So um, creating films, um, being really smart about how you distribute the films. New media has the potential to really connect um, globally very quickly. Um, it's exciting. It's an exciting time, I think, to be doing advocacy and looking at all the, the new tools that are being developed for us to, as advocates, get our work out there. Okay. And what made you decide to use film in this way? Have you always been you know, interested in development? or? Did you see my talk or not? Because I'll reiterate yeah. what I said in my talk. So basically, I had no intention of being a filmmaker ever. Um, my background is in humanitarian relief work, and while working overseas, I was on the ground and became very aware of how powerful media is to both help but also hinder the efforts being done on the ground. So I felt that through a more of a public health, human rights lens, I could tell the stories a little differently. Um, I also believe in the power of the arts, not just film, in music, poetry, um, photography, to inspire and engage people. And then once we, we grab them emotionally, we can use all of our development jargon and lingo and messaging to educate and, and mobilize people. So. so how effective do you think film really is? Do you think you know this is going to be what can make the big difference we need to try and reach the goals by 2015? I think film and new media are absolutely critical and I think it's it's fascinating to see you know when I started doing filmmaking work one of the reasons why I did it is that I felt that it wasn't done well in the development world. There weren't a lot of powerful films. There were a lot of kind of sound bites and journalistic pieces and very like short head, 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 head. And I think there's so many more emotional devices and creative devices that we can use to to tell stories and to mobilize people. I think it's, I mean, I just, I was at the TED Exchange event um, yesterday and I was here and looking at all the sort of digital networking and social media, I think it's, it's absolutely fascinating. And what I would like to see, my personal goal, and it's part of the mdg5.com project that I'm doing, is to ensure that we hear from voices at the local level that our MDG talk and our MDG work and the, the efforts that were being done to meet the MDGs aren't being generated from west, you know, north to south, that we're really engaging people at the local level and through new media and I think through the arts, whether again it's film or music or poetry, we're giving people at the local level a platform. We just need ways to hear it. Yeah. So, so you know, we've been talking about MDGs and we're going to keep talking about them and how important each of them are. But is there a particular MDG that you know you are you know more attached to and have greater interest in seeing achieved? MDG number five, absolutely. It's the MDG that has made the least um, amount of progress I, for the past seven years. I've made films covering a lot of women's health and maternal health issues, and when you have you know. So many women, 68,000 women dying from unsafe abortions. Um, when you have so many women developing obstetric fistulas, um, we just have a long way to go to ensure that women have access to maternal health services and to reproductive health services. So MDG5 is the one that, that I'm focused on. It's the one my new media is, is really aiming to, to approach. And it's, it's exciting because I think the maternal health community is, is really working hard to ensure that we that MDG5 isn't the, the goal that, that falls behind. Okay. Yeah. 
And what do you think we can do from now to ensure that, you know, that it's not left behind and we keep remembering that we have to, you know, achieve the goals we had set out to? I think we need to keep listening to people on the ground. I think we need to keep, Belinda Gates was, I thought, so powerful in her speech when she's making the comparison of, you know, why is it that we can get Coca-Cola at the village level, but we can't get condoms or contraceptives? I think the same thing is true with why do people at the local level know Kanye West and Rihanna, but they don't know health education um, tips. I think we need to keep focusing at local level, local populations, um, ground up, and ensuring that those voices are heard and that and that we keep being reminded and that we're not off to our next conference and our next sort of um, things. But you know, we have five goal or five years to meet our goals and the energy's there. It's just staying committed and not getting you know, not losing focus.